Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views. In today's video, I will give you guys an update on the jailbreak status of iOS 10.3 up to 10.3.3. So, I did a jailbreak update video last month and I will do one today. Like, I will try to do these only once a month at the beginning of the month. I will show you guys what's new and what to expect about the jailbreaking scene during that month and that's it i won't do more than one update video on the jailbreak status a month so every month one video not more if only if we have a release or something really really important to talk about so this month is pretty exciting some things will happen and some things have happened so let's go ahead and dig through them so the first thing we're talking about is the release of the user space research tool for iOS 10 up to 10.3.2 by Ian Beer. So what is this? What I've understand and what I have learned from people that know more about these things than me, obviously, because I don't really know anything about the exploits and how that stuff works. But basically what this is, it's an exploit that lets you bypass the sandbox and run code with system privileges so what i have learned is that this is only a small step towards the jailbreak so you don't really have to get very excited about it it's a it's a small progress a very little little step but of course a lot more work needs to be done in order to make a jailbreak so that really doesn't mean anything for an upcoming jailbreak but it's a step forward even though it's a really really small step and this works up to iOS 10.3.2 because it was patched on 10.3.3. Something worth mentioning that will also happen this month is this security conference that will be organized by the Keen Lab team. So, you know, Keen Lab have demoed their jailbreaks for iOS 10.3.2 and also iOS 11. And what's really interesting here is that the Pango team Two members from the Pango team will also be at this security conference, which will be held on August 30th and 31st. So, I don't know if we can expect anything from it, but it's interesting. Keen team and also the Pango team will be at the conference. Of course, the Keen team is the organizer of the conference and we can expect it at the end of this month. There is also another conference which will be held this month and this is way more important for the jailbreak community. This will be on August 21st up to August 26th and during this conference Adam, this researcher will release his exploits for iOS 10.3.1. So we showed, we showed you way before this tweet by him where he says that during this conference he will be releasing his exploits for iOS 10.3.1 and those exploits so he will release the source code and also instructions and he is also willing to help anyone who wants to create a jailbreak tool out of his exploits so he don't, doesn't want to create it himself but he is willing to help anyone that does want to make it so this these exploits will work from iOS 10.2 I believe up to 10.3.1 and will also work on the iPhone 7 as well. So that's a really great news, but it's a bit far from now by the end of this month. So the time it takes for someone to take the exploits and create a jailbreak tool, probably two to three weeks or even more. And by that time, we might be very close to the release, the official release of iOS 11. And that's really late. Hopefully we will see something from the jailbreak teams way before the end of this month. So while we're talking about the exploits that will be released by Adam, here are the Coffee Breakers, a team which will try to make a jailbreak tool for the public using the exploits that will be released by Adam. So the jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1 up to 10.3.1, when they get the exploits that will be released by Adam, hopefully they will come through and make a jailbreak tool. They don't promise anything for sure but they will do the best, of course, and try to make this jailbreak tool for the jailbreak community. And last but not least, I know a lot of you guys will ask in which iOS version should I be on. The best thing right now is to be on 10.3.1. That's the best firmware to be right now and the most chances of getting a jailbreak 
sooner than later. So if you're on iOS 10.3.3, you can go ahead and downgrade to 10.3.2 while you still can. I don't know by the time that you're watching this video if it will be being signed still by Apple, but if it's still being signed, check it, Google it, check it, if it's still being signed, make sure you downgrade if you want to have a jailbreak. The best way is, of course, always to stay on the lowest firmware possible. So that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Also, go ahead and follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of the video.